Hi guys, you welcome back to the channel. I'm Selassie Travis, back with another tutorial on how to create a jumpsuit. A jumpsuit is simply the combination of a pant and a bodice sewn together to create a single outfit. Okay, now there are two basic types of jumpsuit. We have the one-piece jumpsuit and the two-piece jumpsuit. So the one-piece jumpsuit is when the pants and the bodice is drafted together as a single pattern. Why the two-piece jumpsuit is when the pants and the bodice is drafted separately and later on joined together or sewn together to form a single outfit. In this tutorial, we're going to be making the two-piece jumpsuit. I will be working with my fitted basic bodice. So this body has a waist dart and a bust dart on the front and the back body has a waist dart and a center back dart. And for the pants pattern, I will be working with a jeans foundation pattern, which is a very close fitted pant. Okay. Just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave the link in the description. So make sure you check out that video. And I need to state this point one more time. This is very, very important. The jumpsuit I'm creating is a fitted jumpsuit. And that is why I'm using a fitted pant pattern, which is a jeans foundation, okay? So this pant is not loose fitted. This pant is not a trouser. This pant is not a slack. This pant is the jeans foundation. So do make sure you take note of this information. Now, before we go ahead to adapt this pattern to create a jumpsuit, you want to make sure your pants pattern fits perfectly and also sits around the natural waistline. This is very important. And you want to do the same for the bodies. So your bodies should fit properly and also sit around the natural waistline. The next important point you need to take note of when creating a jumpsuit is that you want to make sure that the waist dart on your pants and the waist dart on your bodies are properly aligned. So you want the same distance from the center front to the first dart leg on your pants to be the same distance from the center front to the first dart leg on your bodies. Okay, you want that. So if not, you need to make some adjustment. So for this case, I would need to move my dart away from the center line of the pant toward the side seam so that both darts will be properly aligned. So I'm going to do this now. So right now I've successfully moved the waist dart on the pant away from the center line so that both darts on the pant and the bodies would be properly aligned. Although both darts are not of equal width, once I take the distance from the center front to the first dart leg, and I take the distance from the side seam to the second dart leg, you can see they both align properly. Okay, so the width of the dart here doesn't matter. But if it concerns you, you can equalize the dart width of the pant to the dart width of the bodies by just adding the remainder on the side seam. Okay, so now my dart on the front bodies and on the front pant is sorted. Now we're done with the front. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the back match from side seam to side seam of both the bodies and the pants and align both of them on the first dart leg which is properly aligned and then because this is a center back dart that means i'll be cutting this off i'm going to take the measurement align it from this point to the second dart leg like so so they are properly aligned okay now the next step is very very important okay because this is a jumpsuit and it's a fitted jumpsuit you cannot just go ahead and join the bodies to the fitted pants like so if you do this you're not going to be able to move or breathe or 
sit or feel comfortable in the jumpsuit. So it is advisable you add some amount of ease in between the bodies and the pants. But from experience, I have worked with half of an inch ease and I found that, that it wasn't sufficient enough. So I still ended up having some kind of tension, which looks like a fold around the crotch area. So I would advise you add at least one inch ease in between the bodies and the pants, okay? Or you can add one and quarter inches ease in between the bodies and the pants. Because this is a fitted jumpsuit, I would advise you distribute this one inch equally between the bodies and the pants, okay? If this was a trouser, I would ad advise you that you just add this ease to the pants. So whatever ease you add to the front of your pattern, make sure you add that same amount of ease to the back of your pattern. Okay, so right now we'll go ahead and add the ease. I am going to add one inch ease between the bodies and the pants, which I'm going to divide equally between both pieces. Now I'm going to come down half of an inch from the body's waistline and then I'm going to just follow the curve of the waistline and draw out the new waistline for the bodies. And then I'll go ahead and increase the length of the dart to this new waistline. For the pants, I'm going to follow the curve of the waistline and mark upward half of an inch. So this is going to make up for the one inch ease that should be added in between the bodies and the pants, okay? And then I would go ahead and repeat the same process for the back piece. So after this stage, you can now go ahead and create whatever style line, whatever design you desire for your jumpsuit. Okay. So I just thought I should come here to give you these important details that is needed whenever you want to create a fitted jumpsuit. I would also like you to know that the style of your jumpsuit could determine the amount of ease or the way you add ease to either the bodies or the pants. So your style of jumpsuit has a huge role to play when it comes to adding ease in between the bodies and the pants. Okay, like for example, if I'm working with a trouser, I would rather not add any amount of ease to my bodies because of the long crouch extension of the trouser. There are some style of jumpsuit that requires you add at least two inches ease to the bodies. Why there are some style of jumpsuit that requires you to add one inch is to just the pants or if i'm working with a cloth which is very very loose fitted i would not add any form of ease to my bodies so do make sure you pay close attention to this information i just gave to you and this brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope you find it helpful if you do remember to leave a comment like this video and subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.